Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having Burger King. All right, you guys, so Burger King came out with their ghost pepper burger. It's supposed to have an orange bun with like a spicy queso sauce. Um, yeah, so I got, oh, and I also got the Impossible Whopper. Um, yes, because you have been asking for me to try it. I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name off the top of my head. Um, so I got that to try. I did get it with cheese. Um, yeah, so, and then I also got an eight piece chicken nuggets with some ranch sauce. And then to drink, I got um, a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better. Well, kind of. So, um, we'll get into it. Okay. So, oh, look at that. It does have the orange. It looks kind of sad. <laughs> so, let me read to you so I don't get it wrong. Um, it has an orange bun, spicy queso, crispy jalapenos, bacon, and ghost pepper cheese on a toasted orange and black sesame seed bun. So it's orange with black, orange bun with black sesame seeds. I just dumped these out. And then the Impossible Whopper, I got it without mayo. And we're going to try it out and see if it tastes just like a Whopper. You know that Whopper, like, flame grilled flavor? Um, oh, and I did ask for it with cheese, so let's try this first. Um, right off the bat, I can tell it's um, the shape of the patty is more formed. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, like it looks more fake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. It's good. The texture is just a little bit different. But it does have that flame grilled flavor. That's what I love about Burger King. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It looks just like meat. But the texture is a little bit off. I put a ton of salt on these fries. All right. Let's have chick Their chicken nuggets are not the best. But I like the breading. All right, now for the star of the show. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I'm a little skeptical. The, the cheese is like extra orange. It's probably because it's like ghost pepper, you know? So let's see. I have Tabasco on the side because I'm expecting this to be spicy. But I have Tabasco in case it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is spicy. Immediately, I felt it on the tip of my tongue. 
but it's not like unbearable for some people it might be i think i tend to have a little bit higher i can tolerate a little bit more spice than the average person but oh it is there okay So it has the ghost pepper cheese and then like a spicy cheese sauce. I would love a little bit more of that cheese sauce. Let's see if the bun. I think the bun, it's not spicy, it's just colored. It's pretty fun for Halloween. I think it's a little dry for me. Um, I think last year they had like a black bun. Or maybe it was green. Mmm. These jalapenos. These crispy fried jalapenos. They're good. I've been really wanting some chili fries. Chili cheese fries. So. I'll probably have that in the next. In an upcoming video. Hmm. So, I'm feeling much better. Um, <clears throat> the whole household, my whole family, well, me, Jose, and the kids, we got COVID. So, we've been getting over that. We're all negative now. Kids are finally back to school as of today. Sophia went back on Monday. Tony went back on Tuesday. Today. Jose was the first one to get it. And then um, Sophia got it. And then I got it. And then Tony was the last one to get it. So, we were all home for about a week. The kids just had a fever with like the sniffles. Antonio developed a cough. And then Jose and I, we had fever, body chills, body aches. Um, just... Same symptoms that we had last time. We didn't lose our sense of smell or taste. Um, you know, we recovered within a reasonable amount of time. We didn't have to be hospitalized, thank, thank God. But Jose and I did develop like the body aches and it was just, it felt like, it feels like your whole body is just bruised. Like you just got ran over by a truck. So yeah, the bummer, bummer, the bad part about getting it is um, uh, Jose's brother was getting married October 1st. Well, he did get married, but we weren't able to attend and Jose was in the bridal party. Excuse me. We weren't able to attend and Jose was a groomsman, so we were so bummed out about that. I started crying. So Jose's sister ended up FaceTiming us um, once the ceremony started so we could actually, you know, see. Um, and as soon as like everybody started, the um, groomsmen and bridesmaids started walking out, I was just like... <sighs> 
I was sick, but I lost it. Because I felt so bad that Jose couldn't be there for his brother. Because, you know, getting married is a one of the most important days of your life. And you want your family to be there, you know? So, it was a bummer. And then Sophia's birthday. We had to cancel Sophia's birthday. Um, so, we have to... We rescheduled it. So, yeah. And then yesterday, Tony and I both got flu shots. So today I'm just feeling like groggy and my arm. I got it in my left arm, which I shouldn't have done because I, I'm left-handed. But um, I woke up this morning and my whole arm, like I could feel it in my wrist a lot. It's just very, it just feels bruised. So, yeah, just kind of feeling groggy, a little tired today. And I normally don't get the flu shot, you know. I, I it, that, just me personally, I don't like getting the flu shot. Um, but I figured since, you know, we had COVID and this is the second time we've had it this year. We had it in January. And then we got it again, um, late no late September, early October, and um, it takes a toll on your body. So I don't want to get sick again. So I thought it it would be best for me to get the flu shot. Um. Antonio had a doctor's appointment and I let him make the decision on whether or not he wanted to get the flu shot and he said yes so I was also kind of like because then the nurse asked me mom do you want to get your flu shot too um and so I kind of felt like for moral support <laughs> to get it but I was also kind of thinking about it beforehand because I told Antonio, I was like, you know, they're going to ask you if you want your flu shot. I'm going to leave that up to you. Because he's 14 now. He can make medical decisions on his own. Which I think is so crazy. But he said yes. Because he doesn't want to get sick again. So. Anyways. I watched the Dahmer series. You guys. I don't know. I feel like people are not fetishizing it, but I'm on TikTok a lot and I see a lot of people just like impersonating him and you know, quoting things that were said in the video in the series. And I'm kind of like I don't know. I don't think it's a good thing. Um, and so the series, if you guys haven't seen it, it's a really good watch, but it is hard to watch. It, for me, it was hard to watch. And I'm into like true crime and stuff like that. But for me, it was it's a very heavy series because and it's very chilling because Netflix did a very good job at kind of um not over dramatizing it um there were some parts that were over like dramatized like the the way he drank the blood and everything that was over dramatized and i think even the character glenda she's not she's is like not a real person um so But for the most part, Netflix, like everything that was portrayed was pretty much on point. Um, and there's a lot of uh, Jeffrey Dahmer interviews. And it's just, I don't know, the way I, rem I remember when I was a little girl hearing about it 
and it terrified me. I was scared sometimes. Even as a little girl, I liked like true crime and um, America's Most Wanted, um, unsolved, unsolved Mysteries. I would watch that stuff, but it would scare me and I'd be like paranoid at night. And I remember hearing about the Jeffrey Dahmer, everything that was going on, because I was like, I think he was arrested or caught in 1991, so I was like five years old, um, but I remember being a little bit older, because I'm sure they were talking about, um, talking about him, you know, throughout the years and like keeping up with his case and everything. <laughs> But anyways, I remember being so terrified. And the thing that terrified me the most was that the kid that got away and had his head drilled into and he was like walking around like a zombie, like zombie like, but then was returned to him. That scared the crap out of me. That was like, I was like, you know, who the heck does that to somebody? But yeah, as a little girl, I remember being afraid of Jeffrey Dahmer or people being like Jeffrey Dahmer and that actually happen happening. So, it's a really good watch. Um, I could only watch like one, maybe two episodes at a time because I was just like... I don't know it's very it was very chilling very like my anxiety was up like I had to keep taking deep breaths Jose would ask are you okay are you can do we need to stop watching this so and it just makes you feel for the victims um but it also kind of like makes you s almost sympathize or uh, like humanizes Jeffrey Dahmer because it, it almost makes you feel bad for him because of how his childhood was and how, like the whole situation with his parents and everything. And so that is like, it's also like questionable. I was reading that a lot of people that are from the um, area that it happened, that they like lived it firsthand when everything was going down and like men were going missing. Um, that a lot of them were not going to be watching the series. So, I don't know. It's very... <clears throat> it was a good watch, but it's, it's very... It was very chilling. It was kind of hard for me to just sit and watch the whole thing. Um, but I guess there's a new... There's like the Jeffrey Dahmer tapes. You know how they came out with the Ted Bundy tapes and the John Wayne Gacy tapes? Well, now Netflix um, has uh, Jeffrey Dahmer tapes. That's what Sophia told me, and Sophia's been listening to it. She's been getting into true crime, so she told me about it, and I'm like, what? Because I haven't really had time to be on Netflix. I've just been kind of like napping and watching movies but not really like watching a series Dahmer Jeffrey Dahmer was the last series that I watched but um yeah so I'll probably be watching that and I do plan on doing a true crime I just need to like figure out what I want to do and I need to study it these two weeks I haven't really done anything I've just been kind of lounging around recovering um I was I I would feel like even after I tested negative I would still feel um, winded easily excuse me I would still feel like get winded easily so I would try to cook and clean and then by the time I was done I just felt like I was just so drained and um, yeah so this time COVID really did take a toll on my body um, yeah, it just sucks, man. <laughs> um, but anyways, you guys should go try this if you like spicy. It's really not too spicy. Um, the only thing is it's it's really dry. It needs more sauce. It needs, like, I should have dipped it in ranch um, or something. But it's good. It's a little, little like, gimmicky burger. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to... 
Um, make sure your notifications are turned on so you're notified the second that I upload a brand new video. Leave me a comment down below. Share this video with your family and friends. And I will see you guys soon with a brand new one. Bye. Hi, Daisy. Are you taking a little nap at my feet? Huh? You want chicken nugget? You want chicken nugget? Good girl.